trip on this You don't know I'm back with a new way DJ turn up the speaker Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how I revive this curly synthetic crochet hair. Um, if you want to see the tutorial on how I originally installed it, I'll leave it above and down below in the description box. But I let it get really bad so I can show you guys how I revive it. As you can see, it's really stiff and my edges are starting to come out, so it's really time for this style to go. But I'm just beginning by clipping the hair away from my face so that I can begin to get into these edges because they're nasty. I'm starting out by wetting them with water before I go in with my Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Shampoo. And I'm just going to use that and scrub it all over my edges till they are nice and clean and free of got to be glue. So then I'm going to just dry it with a paper towel once I rinse it out. And I'm going in with my Talia Wajid the great detangler it's also like a leave-in and a co-wash but yeah so i'm just putting that on my edges so they're nice and moisturized and then i'm going to put oil to seal in that moisture and then i'm going to begin with the back of my head i'm just going to section off a nice chunk of my hair and put the rest away so that i can begin to work on the back section i'm taking my scissors and then i'm going to just cut out all of the frizz and the knots that are holding these curls together. You also don't want to forget a plastic bag because this is going to be very messy. But you're going to cut out all of the knots that are holding the curls together. This way you can bring the hair back to life. And this does take some time. This is why you should do this once a week. I waited a couple weeks just to show you guys, you know, that it is possible to revive this hair look at this big knot you guys like this gets really bad this is why you don't want to wait too long to try to maintain your curly hair well your curly synthetic hair because it can get really ugly if you don't maintain it so this is just my method of what i do this helps to keep the hair looking nice and defined like I said, I normally do this once a week and it doesn't take as much time when I do it once a week. It normally takes an hour max to do this. And this is what the section looks like when I'm done. Look how much thicker it looks now that I have separated the curls once again and got rid of all the frizz that was holding it together. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going in with my mousse just to make sure that the curls keep their form and that they don't frizz up as much again taking the next two rows of braids and I'm going to continue that same process. It's fairly simple. It just takes a while and it's kind of tedious, but I personally just like to go in depth. You don't have to do as much as I'm doing here. I just prefer this because I see the best results. Also, you don't have like as big like these big knots when you keep up with it on a weekly basis, so yeah, like I said, don't wait too long to do this, guys, or else it's going to be hell. But as you can see here, I'm starting to get that movement back into the hair, and it's not as stiff. And I'm just going, like I said, to continue this process until I'm finished. Now, I'm just, this is the next day, I'm just taking the hair, pulling it away from my face, and I'm going to begin wetting my edges so that I can lay them down. I'm just making sure that my part is in the center, and then I'm going to wet my edges just a bit more and I'm going in with my got to be ultra glued and I'm just going to put that on my edges and begin to try to slay them. Honestly, you guys, y'all don't even need to watch this struggle because my edges do what they want to do. But when I'm done, I'm just going to take all the hair, put it up and use this little scarf that I just used to lay my edges. I'm going to tie that nice and tight and let my edges sit under there for about 20 minutes. So this is what they look like after I'm done, just a hot friggin' mess. But the hair looks so nice. Look at that movement. And this is what happens when you try to be cute, y'all. But anyways, the hair is just full of movement. I'm so happy with how it came out. As you can see, it returned to its nice shine and luster. I'm just going to go in and continue to customize the bangs because I forgot, 
but this is what it looks like when I'm all done I just put in these two space buns so that it looked a little different this is what the sides and the back of the hair looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one